if I can apply for a fiance visa, in, even if I don't have a job, as long as I have a joint sponsor. Uh, this is quite common, um, and yes, you can uh, apply for a fiance visa, regardless of whether you're employed or not. Um, now, once you get to the embassy stage, and where you're expected to submit an affidavit of support, which would be the I-134 form, uh, and as well, you know, supplying your supporting evidence, um, you're going to run into a problem uh, because they do have a minimum income that is required to show that you can support the alien beneficiary that you're sponsoring. You basically have to prove and show that uh, the alien, your fiance, is not going to become a public charge and collect means-tested benefits. Now, um, in your case, you may be able to obtain a joint sponsor. Um, that is anyone that is 18 years of age, a U.S. citizen, or a lawful permanent resident, and um, they can sign the affidavit of support, uh, but you would still have to file an affidavit of support regardless of whether you're employed or not. Um, but um, we, now also keep in mind that some countries do not accept joint sponsors. Uh, I can give you an example. Um, the Philippines or the U.S. Embassy in Manila does not accept uh, an affidavit or a joint sponsor for the I, or excuse me, the fiance visa. They do accept it for the spousal visa though. Uh, so you'll want to uh, check on that first before you go in and apply for a fiance visa. Make sure that the embassy that you'll be uh, going to for the interview does in fact accept a joint sponsor. But to answer your question, yes, you can file for the petition. It's just you're going to have to need to um, prove that you can meet the income requirements at the embassy stage. If you found this video useful, it would mean a lot to us if you could hit the like button and comment below to let us know what you think. You can also ask your own immigration questions in the comments below. If you want to make sure not to miss any of our future videos, we invite you to subscribe here on YouTube and be sure to click the notification icon so you can be alerted whenever we publish a new video. Also, don't forget to follow us on Facebook where you can watch our regular immigration Q&A live streams.